decreasing its use of chemical pesticides over the past several years, but now there's a call to stop using them entirely. One organization says they're using them more in communities of color, declaring environmental and racism. CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch reports. Poison Parks. That's the claim of a special report just released by the Black Institute. The focus, New York City's use of the chemical pesticide glyphosate, a likely carcinogen that's found in the weed killer Roundup. The Black Institute asserts the city engaged in environmental racism by using the pesticide more frequently and at higher concentrations in parks used by people of color. Folks in those communities that on a nice day they don't go to the Hamptons, they don't have a place upstate, they go to their local park, they enjoy the city around them. I asked the Parks Department if it employs environmental racism. In a statement, Parks replied, the racial analysis in this report does not align with reality. The report released Wednesday, the same day, members of City Council held a hearing on Bill 1524. This is author Ben Kalos. This bill basically says glyphosate and other carcinogens can't be sprayed on city property, particularly our parks. Kalos introduced a similar bill years ago after listening to kindergartners from PS290 sing. No way, no spray, toxic pesticides. Some of the same students showed up to testify. It'll affect a lot of people in a positive way. I don't want me or any of my siblings, anyone else who I don't even know, running around in the park and getting sick from the pesticides. Deputy Commissioner Liam Cavanaugh says parks support not using chemical pesticides, but acknowledged it would limit managing invasive species. We estimate that it might take three to five mechanical applications to replace one successful application of a properly used and targeted herbicide. Bill sponsors expressed confidence they have veto-proof majority to get the bill passed this spring. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. The Black Institute report also wants glyphosate banned at a state level.